guys, show this video to anyone who is new at VEX. So say one of your friends wants to join robotics, show this video to them, it'll include all of the fundamentals you'll want to know. The base is the most important part of your robot, so for the best base you're going to want to use four motors for the most power, and you're going to want to use four, six actually, six of these rubber rubber wheels. They're much better than these Omni wheels. Look at these things. They're, they're so slidey. And they, when, you're use these, when you're using these, your robot can just be very unstable. So you want to use four motors and six of these rubber tires. The best way to support your wheels is like this. So basically, you're going to want the axle to be mounted only on one side for the least friction. So this way, it'll spin as smooth as possible. You should use as less pins as possible to attach stuff. So like here, we can just use two pins to attach these two beams together. And you should do this especially in uh, high stress pieces, so then it is as light as possible and it uses the least pieces. Always make sure that your builds are as complex as possible. So like here, I have this really complex mechanism. No one knows what it does, but it's really complex, which is good. This way, it is less prone to malfunctioning or failing. When wiring your build, you need to be sure that all the wires are entangled and intertwined like this. This way, when you want to remove them, you can take them all out at once, saving a lot of time. Lastly, you want to keep your workstation as like messy as possible. This way, you have stuff lying all the way around your field, and then that means you are more convenient to grab stuff whenever you want. Whereas if it's organized, you'll have to look through all these bags or drawers over there, and it's just much less convenient.